the total exposure to all risk factors during a person's life and how the human body responds to these is referred to as the exposome. The exposome is expected to explain 70 to 90% of the total burden of disease. Mapping the exposome of individuals in daily life will enable more effective prevention of disease. As part of the applied exposome program, TNO combines existing and new technologies to compile exposure profiles of individuals. In collaboration with the Utrecht Exposome Hub, advanced air pollution modeling, GPS tracking and chemical sensors are combined into personal exposure profiles. In this example, black carbon air pollution, also known as soot, is calculated and displayed on the map. Different colors are used to show different black carbon concentrations in the air. These concentrations are recalculated every hour using actual real-time data for traffic and weather conditions. We follow Tom on an ordinary day, where he goes to work by bicycle, works at the office, cycles back home, has dinner, goes by car to the gym, and returns home by car. He wears a GPS and black carbon sensor. On the map, his movements are displayed in real time. Based on the location and travel speed of the GPS, his indoor or outdoor status and mode of transportation are estimated, as shown on the screen in different colors. During the day, Tom is exposed to different air concentrations of black carbon. In the upper graph, his personal exposure, calculated by combining the modeled concentrations of black carbon with GPS tracking, is visualized over time. In addition, the real-time black carbon concentrations measured by the sensor he is wearing are displayed in the lower graph. The measured and calculated black carbon concentrations are not identical. Both methods have their shortcomings. TNO is working on methods to combine sensor and calculated concentrations to get the most benefit from both. Detailed exposure profiles can be used to provide effective feedback to vulnerable individuals or for use at population level, informing policymakers and governments. The knowledge and technologies that are developed provide a range of opportunities to join the dots for the effective prevention of disease. Thank you.